Good evening. Good evening, Wendy. Good evening. Good evening, Arnold. Tarde porque no lo tenía. Ana Lilia. Thank you, Wendy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. ¿Quién está cumpliendo años hoy? Oh, reprise. ¿Cómo es? se dice? Reprise. <laughs> Es que me faltaba el rotulito de Ana Lilia. Ok, people, let's get started tonight. Hola. Hola. Hello, Frida. Ok, hola. Hello. Sí, ya. Ya. Well, and when are we going to go to eat pizza? Ah, uh, we should meet together Hola. to eat pizza Hola. with Galileo. For a date. For a date. Uh -huh. uh, Middle day. Soon. On September 15, Hello. let's celebrate Independence Day. And my, my birthday. Your birthday? That's a good idea. September oh, 15. okay. Wow. Oh, there. You see, we can celebrate Frida's birthday, Anna Lillian's birthday. In the My me birthday. <laughs> me too. <laughs> you are from September? Yes, 22. When? 22. Okay. 22 September. <laughs> yes. Old world. Okay. And make a meeting, teacher. See you, see you in Papa John's. Yes, yeah. let's meet in Papa John's. Yeah. All you can eat. Yeah. All you can eat. Yeah, please eat a meeting. Please eat a meeting. Please eat a meeting. Between us. It's up to you. Por favor, libere un encuentro entre nosotros. And what is, what is the best Restaurant. All, everyone. All, all are the same. Everyone. No, there is always one that is uh, bigger mm, or more comfortable. Maybe a comfortable. Uh, comfortable, maybe San Luis. Mm. San Luis. Ah. Yeah. Lourdes. Yeah. Lourdes. Lourdes is, is good. 
Good evening. Yeah, it's good. El de, eh, el de Lucero casi no se llena. Yeah, Lucero, Lucero is comfortable ah. too. Buca. Eh, yeah. Eh, Santa Elena, maybe. Santa, Lan, Sa Santa Ana is, is a, a little. It's little. Oh, yeah. Small one. Santa Ana Center is a little restaurant. Okay. Okay, put dates and put a date and and meet. Oh, let's meet there. Old team, English team. Yeah. Good idea. Okay. okay. When people. When. Very good. Okay. I hope you tell me when we can go to restaurant. Anna Lilian from San Miguel. <laughs> yeah, el encuentro, el encuentro or terminal. There are two restaurants in San Miguel. In San Miguel. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay, let's talk later. We can't because we are in pandemic. Ah, <laughs> but that, 32, yeah. 32,000 people in one stadium yesterday, the last yeah. night. And well, yeah, it terrible. Was, it but, was full. But, but, but eh, Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? It's people, unconscious, unconscious people, unconscious no, people. But everyone is was vaccinated. <laughs> I, I don't think so. That no, is... el detalle es que la vacuna, y se lo dicen, la cosa que la gente no oye, que la vacuna sirve única y exclusivamente para que los síntomas sean más leves de lo que sería normalmente. Yeah. Es como cuando le ponen la vacuna de la varicela a un niño versus una vacuna, versus un niño no vacunado, a los dos les va a dar varicela, pero al niño no vacunado le va a dar más fuerte y al niño no, y al, perdón, al niño no vacunado le va a dar más fuerte y al niño vacunado le va a dar más suave y posiblemente no le dé fiebre, pero los dos se enferman y los dos pueden transmitir la enfermedad. Entonces, toda esa gente perfectamente se puede enfermar porque variantes sobran de COVID. Es un virus que muta cada rato. Así como entra a su cuerpo, no sale, no, no sigue, o sea, sale diferente, ya mutado. Por eso es que hay tantas variantes, porque es un virus que está constantemente replicando. Y con tanta gente que se automedica, entonces el virus se va replicando. Entonces, toda esa gente va a enfermar a sus familiares y sus familiares, más de algunos, se va a morir. That's true. Por lo menos en mi conciencia no va a quedar de que mate a alguien eh, indirectamente. <laughs> you have the risk. You are. Yes, you are... that's true. Eddie, you okay. Are right. Thanks for the info. It's so. so... <laughs> <laughs> Ahí no la, ahí no la manda, no la, no la manda a domicilio Galileo, mejor. Ok. Le vamos, mejor solo hagamos una sesión en la que todos pidamos lo mismo y, y brindemos por el fin de curso o algo así. Ok. Son good. Ya ven, pues ya ven. Yo But les dije, Rita, yo, Rita, yo les dije, no, Rita no, no right. les dije. Llevo, llevo más de año y medio atendiendo. Llevo más de año y medio atendiendo gente en gripario y hasta la fecha no me he enfermado de COVID. Me hacen una, las pruebas una vez al mes por protocolo. Tengo pruebas de anticuerpo en dos ocasiones, porque como me han tenido que operar en dos ocasiones en lo que va del año pasado para acá. Y en las dos ocasiones las pruebas de anticuerpos también me salieron negativas. Entonces no me he enfermado en año y medio, o sea que sí se puede no enfermar si hay voluntad de cuidarse realmente. Thanks, God. You're right. Yeah. Okay, people, let's come back to our reality. <laughs> okay, let's take the first attendance. Starting with San Miguel, Ana Lilian. 
present teacher. <laughs> uh, Brian. Oh, Brian is sick. He went to the stadium. No. Dinora, Alejandra Alfaro. Present teacher. Hello, Dinora. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Yeah. Javier Aldair Escobar. Present. Welcome. Jose Arnoldo Matariego. Present teacher. Welcome. Jose Galileo Barrera. Here, sir. I'm here, Good. Sir. Thank you. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Present. Very good. Welcome. Thank you. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Not yet. Eh, Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present teacher. Hello, Catherine. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present teacher. Welcome. Eh, Maria Concepción Cerón. Present. Thank you. Mary, according to the calendar, you have the personal session today. Uh, but you stayed with me the other day. Uh, usted se quedó el otro día que no había quien. ¿Quién es el que no estaba para esa vez? Pues Galileo. Le, ¿ah? Pero le dijo a Jonathan que se quedara y no se quiso. No, si Jonathan, si no, no le oí, teacher, no me di cuenta. No le entendí, me dijo. Okay, <risa> okay. Jonathan. Ok, for me no, no problem. Ok, ok. Vaya. ¿Por qué? No, pero ¿por qué le dije a Jonathan? Ah, es que le tocaba a Galileo. Y Galileo el 27 no estuvo, quiero ver. Sí, cabal, el 27 no estuvo. Entonces eh, se quedó Mary. Eh, no sé si, se, si la toma hoy, Galileo. My pleasure. Ok. Va, entonces vamos a quedar con Galileo. Y ahí nos vamos a organizar. No. <ríe> no. Ya me va a regañar Frida. <ríe> María Ivania Sorry, Palma. No, no, no. <ríe> Presentice. Ok, welcome. Ah, Rodrigo. Welcome. Ok, let me check here. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Arellana, not anymore, Mauricio Rivera, Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present wow. teacher. Wow, today is good. <laughs> <laughs> Rocío Lourdes Pimentel, not anymore, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome, Saira. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Very good. Very good. Okay. Well, um, what are we going to do? Well, let's take a look to tonight's quote. Quickly, it's going to be a short one. Huh. Okay. A ver, yo le voy a preguntar aquí al experto en, en, ¿en qué? ¿Cómo se llama? En informática. Yo, ay, bien, bien, vuelve a ver, va, bien sabe que de él estoy hablando. Que me está saliendo un mensaje que las deficiencias del equipo, que cierre ventanas y. La memoria que se le ha topado. Que ya, la memoria, ¿no? Ah, pues sí, vamos a pasarle el cleaner. Ok. ¿En qué estaba? Compartir pantalla. Share screen. For tonight's quote. Ok. Look at this. Don't wait for opportunity. Create it. Hmm. Interesting. 
Don't wait for opportunity. Create it. Uh, what do you think about that? It is, is it true or not? Do you agree or disagree? I agree. I agree. 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 Yes, okay. <laughs> Many people is looking for opportunity. Oh, I don't have the opportunity. Nobody gives me an opportunity. I don't find a job. Well, but if you don't find a job, you are not looking enough. You are not searching enough. Yeah. Uh, you have to create the opportunity. How can I create the opportunity in my job to uh, uh, how can I say to be promoted to a better position? ¿Cómo puedo hacer para que mi trabajo me promueva en una mejor posición? Yeah, create the opportunity. So be, como veíamos el otro día, don't be ordinary, be extraordinary. And uh, how can I have an opportunity for a better job? So this is one, learn English. So you are creating here an opportunity through learning a new language. There are more opportunities. Uh, imagine uh, now I'm working I have more opportunities now because I am working for a company that is not only in El Salvador. So I can have job opportunities in another, in different countries without leaving El Salvador, sin irme del Salvador. Yeah, entonces mis oportunidades de trabajo se han multiplicado. Now with, uh, with English and uh, computers, you have more opportunities than people who doesn't know um, anything about computers and doesn't speak English, okay? If you know computing and you know English, you duplicate or triplicate your job opportunities. Not only in El Salvador, but in different countries. Now the pandemic has opened a lot of opportunities to work from home. Yeah, and there are international companies looking for workers. So keep, keep doing it, okay? So never stop studying, not only your career, but different things that help you to have new and better opportunities. So don't wait for opportunity, create it. And the other day we said education is the way. Education, more and more and more education. Okay, repeat please. Don't wait for opportunity. Create it. Don't wait for, Don't wait for, for opportunity. opportunity. Create it. Create it. Okay. One more time. Don't wait for opportunity. Create it. Don't wait for opportunity. Create it. Create it. Okay. Yes. Definitely. Okay, last night we finished with a conversation. You were creating a conversation. Send Let me see. message in WhatsApp. Ah, okay, okay. Give me a moment and I will share that in WhatsApp. Um, but I also... Donde lo guardé? Oh, no, I remember where. Okay. 
I have here group number one for the conversation is Dinora and Ivania. Okay, Dinora and Ivania, can you please present your conversation? Hello. Yes, teacher. Um, okay. I start. Hello, Dinora. Can you help me with my printer? It doesn't work properly. Paper is plot. Um, Dinora. Dinora. Gritémosle para que nos oiga. Dinora. <laughs> She's gone. Oh, I don't know. She left the phone there. Okay, dejémoslo para después. Brian está. Ana Lilian en Galileo, entonces. Y luego, ah, ya vino Dinora. Ya regresó Dinora. Yeah, Dinora, we, we are asking for the conversation, okay? The conversation you prepare with Ivania. Hello, Dinora. Can you help me with my printer? It doesn't work properly. Paper, paper is plot. Okay. Hi, Maria. I will have a look at it. I need to check if there's a minor fault. How long could it take? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Can you print it in another machine? Because I need to speed things up to verify every fault. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, group number. Teacher, may I share my screen? Sure. Sure. Go ahead. Thank you. Lilia, you are Anna Lilia and I am Galileo. Thank you for coming, Galileo. Not sure. Did you call on your divider machine? Yes, I did. I will have a look at it. The, the dividend machine doesn't work properly. It may uh, spray noise when it starts the function. I need to remove the principal case and some bolts too. Okay, but I need to speed this, this up because the production for it, for it is too okay. I feel you. Please check the, the knife once a week. Okay, but please hurry up because I am I am late, late to complete the production demand. I am so sorry, but I need to extend the shot because it is not a minor fault. Okay, okay, Galileo, keep the conversation there. Ah, keep, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Right now, right now. Okay. There it is. Can you see it, teacher? Yes, yes. Okay, say my pleasure, fault. Could it, the divine machine, and it's national. What did you mean with when you said, I feel you? To me, I feel you is like, I got it, I understand you. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, uh, Ana Lilia is uh, uh, it's saying, okay, but I need to speed things up because mm -hmm. the production forecast is so high. I feel mm -hmm. you, I, I understand you. Oh, okay, so it's- I don't know if I am wrong, teacher. 
Well, I think it is an expression, yes. So to mean that uh, you understand the situation, the other person's situation. Yeah, okay. Check the knife, but hurry. Hurry, as the hurry, nada más es con U. Hurry up. Okay, perfect. So, thank you. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Okay, now next group is uh, Laura and Saira. Okay. Thank you for coming, so. You're welcome. I have a problem in the lovely area. Yes, Mr. Perez reported that the machine does not finish the washing wash tray away. Uh, I I I have a lot a look at it to deduce which piece pies are wrong. It is okay. How long will it take? It take. I don't I don't think think I fix it quickly. I need to speed the thing up very good. I understand. We need to speed repairs. Hasta ahí, teacher. Hola, teacher. Okay, okay, very good. Very good, thank you. Okay. Javier and Mayra. Hi. Hi, um, here we are present our pantalla. Okay. Okay. Give me a second, please. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Perfect. Um, Hello, I am the technical I request. What is the problem? I have a problem with my with my washing machine. It makes a strange noise and it doesn't work properly. It's not washing wheel. Okay, good. I need to verify it to give diagnos diagnosis. We'll remove the case and clean the affix part. What is the problem? Do you see in the washing machine a minor fault or is a major fault? Um, my diagnosis is to change the damage components. I need to speed things up because the damage can be worse. What do you recommend me to do? Well, if you like, leave the washing machine and return in a week. I will leave in it a new. I'll be back in a week. Okay, see you. Bye. Okay, very good. Very good. Um, ¿Quién falta? El otro grupo no lo, no lo grabé. ¿Y quién era? T-shirt, Brian and me. Pero no sé si está Brian. Hello. Sí, Brian is not here. Okay. Uh, can you share the conversation and yes. somebody somebody can can help you? Maybe Arnoldo, can you help her? It's a pleasure. Okay. You are Brian. Okay. okay. You Hello, Frida. Can, Okay. Hello, Frida. I'm coming because you called for support. Hello, Brian. I need to fix a problem with my computer. 
what seems to be the problem? I, I make a strange noise. It makes a, a strange noise. We'll have a look at it. Okay, thank you. It doesn't work properly. It'll have to take it with me. I need to speed things up. When do you think it's going to be ready? It's going to be ready today. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you. ¿Quién más falta? Mm. Ah, la risa, la condena. <ríe> Mary, ¿con quién, Mary? Con Wendy. Ok. <ríe> Las dos nos estamos condenando con la risa. <ríe> ok. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Wendy. The sales department reported reported a problem with the air condition. You have a look at it. You are right. The air conditioning does not cool. Air, air doesn't work properly. Oh, the air conditioning has some flaps. I need to remove the casting coxing from the air to see if it if it uh, is a minor fault or what? I understand. If that's the case, we need to, to spill things up. I recommend checking the air once every eight days to make sure they are not failing and good well. And what is it doesn't work? We will have to extend it the mining temps. Okay, see you later. See you later. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you. Okay, people. So with that, we finished last night's lesson. Okay. Tonight, we are going to talk about uh, expressing problems regarding equipment. Okay, let me share the screen. Oh, mm -hmm. um, okay. We have a couple of questions here to think about. How often uh, do you have problems with your computer? And who is in charge of checking on them when there is a problem? Interesting questions. How often do you have problems with your computer? What can you tell me? Very often, not too often, rarely. In my case, very mm -hmm. often. Very often. Ah, what what is a common problem that you have with your computer? My computer is slow because uh, I I have much information. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And ¿cómo se llama? Nunca, uh, nunca la reinicio casi. Oh. Y uh, a pesar, eh, ¿cómo se diría? My husband eh, works with computer y he is tec eh, ¿cómo se diría? asesor de tecnología. He is Technology, uh, technology advisor? Yes, but, uh, by, for comp big companies in United States in, and Europa, but I no sé nada de computador. <laughs> <laughs> that, that happens. That happens. It's the irony. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. So you're talking about your your own computer, not your work computer. 
my own computer I never use because all time I work, I work. Ah. Uh, I sold the computer because never use the computer. Ah, oh, so you only use the work computer. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. A lot of information, that's right. That's happening to me now. Uh, okay, somebody else. What is the problem that you usually have with your computer? Your personal computer or your work computer? Or well, you never have problems with your work computer? I'm a case teacher. I don't have any problem because my laptop is, uh, is new. Ah, okay. But, oh, however, uh, when I had other computer, I I like the two way I had a lot of problems. That happened. That was the reason why uh, I changed my computer. Okay. Okay, good. Somebody else? Nobody else? No computer problems? In my case, teacher, my partner and me fixed the, the problem with the computer. In my, in my personal computer, the same. I, I, I search for fix the the any problem with with my PC. Ah, okay. Ah, it's good to know something, at least a little bit about about that. Okay. Well, we'll talk about that a little bit. So, let's read this conversation. Okay. Let me share screen again. Conversation between Luke and George. Okay, here it is. Okay, listen. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. Ho I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, now let's practice. Repeat after me, please. What's wrong with the computer, George? What's, What's wrong, wrong with, with the computer, the computer George? George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. Hello, Hello, Luke. Well, Hello, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. I have, I have checked check everywhere, everywhere, everywhere and it won't, and it won't, won't turn, on. turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? That's too bad. How about the connection? 
Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. Yes, I have. Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna we, has we had have this... not... Give me a moment. Let's read the two sentences. <laughs> we have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. We have, we have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Okay. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? Yeah, yeah I, I heard, heard that. that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. No, they, no, they haven't. They haven't. Boss My boss sends them, sends them a memo every, every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Great. 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 I hope, I hope he, can he can fix this problem. Can fix this problem. Okay. Very good. Now, um, let's see. I am Luke and you are George. Okay. Yes. What's yes. wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Hello. Hello. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not checking everywhere. Everywhere. It won't be turned on. on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes. yes, I have. And Mario, Mario, the technician has checked it. We have not found the rest of the world. Anna has the same problem. Anna has the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, no, they no, haven't. haven't. My boss has a memory um, every, week. every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. Great. I am hoping he can fix this problem. Okay, very good. Now I am Luke. No, you are Luke and I am George. Okay, so you begin. One, two, three. What's wrong with the computer? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, yeah. I, I heard, heard that. that. that I has the maintenance batteries replaced the batteries. No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. I see. The, the way, way the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Okay, any question with the conversation? Uh, how you say man maintenance? Okay, it's maintenance. 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 Okay, well, I'll give you time to practice the conversation in pairs and respond these questions. Okay, well, teacher, 
Yep. How do you say blue blue pill? Oh. Blue pill. oh. Donde estaba, donde estaba. Ah, have you checked all the cables are plugged? Plugged. 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 Yes. yes. Plugged. Plugged. Okay, circle. The exercise says circle the correct words to complete the statements. Have or has, have or has, send or sent, according to the conversation, okay? This is very easy, so you will spend more time practicing the conversation. So please take uh, like well, five minutes to practice the conversation. Let me send you to your small groups. Perfect, and seven groups. Please, everyone, practice, okay? I hope Javier and Rodrigo estén por ahí y se unen a sus grupos. Go ahead.
Technician Tony. Great. I hope he can fix this this problem. Okay. Now uh, I am Luke, and you are George. For again. Galileo. Yes. Pleasure. Okay. Perfect, Galileo. Yes. I am Luke. Okay. Okay. Um, what's wrong with the com com okay. computer? Uh, what's wrong with the no, What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere, and it won't. Este maintenance. My maintenance. Okay. No, they haven't my boss send a memo every week. I see. Pero okay. si les hoy, hoy look, usted, your, yours. No, usted inicia. Ah, usted yo, ah okay. Uh, mm -hmm. What's wrong with the, with the computer, yours? Hello, look. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? How do you check uh, the connection? Well, I don't, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you connected all? Teacher, how do you say technician? Okay. Technician. 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 Yeah. Technician. Technician is coming. Okay. Okay. Technician. ¿Y cuál era la otra? Eh, uh, they are plug. 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 ¿Dónde estaba yo? No me acuerdo. Segundo párrafo de Luke. Okay. Plugger. Or plugger. Plug. 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 The answer is okay? Yeah. My hands. Or those hands. La última no. Ah. It's ten. Uh -huh. Teacher, usted que usa el mismo programa para editar eh, PDF, ¿cómo hace para poner la flechita de un lado a otro? No, yo no, no uso, yo uso la herramienta de Zoom para señalar nada más. Ah. No, no. Thank you for, for the tip. Sí, porque ahí hay que guardarlo y lo guarda como otro documento. No se puede guardar sobre el mismo siempre y cuando le ponga el mismo nombre. Solo ah. lo reemplaza. Ah, ok. Ok. Por decir, because I don't know o no sabía. ¿Cómo se diría? No sabía. I don't. Sabía. No sé. No, no. no. No sabía. Ajá. Didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know this. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces, digamos, entonces, ya que el teacher, ¿cómo era? Plug, ¿Cómo era? Plugged. 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 No, no, escuchen. Plugged. 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 Ah, ok. Plugged. Cables are plugged. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. No. The examiner, do it. Le toca. Ah? Le toca empezar. Otra vez. Bye. Comienzo. Glad. No, 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 no,
tenemos una, una discusión con Mayra sobre la 3. Uh, ajá, la pregunta. Ajá. Ajá, porque, o sea, la lógica nos dice que es sen con D, porque está hablando del jefe, ¿verdad? pero el pronombre es plural. Entonces, tenemos esa, bueno, yo tengo esa duda, si es D o T. Our, no, our boss. Ok, el pronombre no es plural. ¿Nuestro? ¿Nuestro qué? Nuestro jefe. Ajá. Entonces, ¿de quién estás hablando? Jefe. De él, jefe. del jefe. Entonces, es send con D. No. No. Why? Porque estás usando el present perfect. Ok. ¿Verdad? Que okay, ya vamos a ver. ¿Qué se usa? Con el past participle. Ah, ok. Entonces, uh -huh. si es sent. Sí. Y con T al final, teacher. Sí. Our boss okay. has sent. Muy bien. Gracias. Uh, ok. Bye, sí. Continuemos. Mayra. Okay, welcome back, people. Let's take the second attendance. Starting with Ana Lilian Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian Javier, not today. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Se fue. ¿Qué se hizo? Okay, she left. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Javier Aldair Escobar. Here teacher. Good. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. Present teacher. Good. Jose Galileo Barrera. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Rodrigo Hernández. Present teacher. Good. Laura Carolina Vigil. Ay. Present teacher. Me salté a Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Yes, present teacher. Okay. María Concepción Cerón. Present. Thank you. María Ivania Palma. Present teacher. Good. Uh, this is Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present teacher. Ok, Zaira Marlene Larín. Present teacher. And Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Well, um, let's continue now with the grammar because maybe a little bit complex for some of you, but let's see. Okay, uh, let's check the questions here. Um, uh, 
Nope, nope, nope. Oh. Number one, have they checked the system or has they checked the system? How they? How? How, okay. How they? Yes. Mary have had the same problem with her computer or Mary has had the Mary same has. problem? Mary has had, has had, had, Mary had the same had. problem with her computer. Okay. Our boss has sent or our boss has sent? Our boss has sent. Sent a letter to the ET. Okay. This one? Yes. Okay, very good. Very good. So esta, this form is what we call present perfect. Okay. The form that is used in this conversation. I have checked. Yeah, this is present perfect. I have checked. Have you checked? Yes, I have. Well, this is the answer for a sh the short answer for a yes, no question. The technician has checked. We have not verified the negative form. Anna has had. This is a, a question. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. Okay, well, this is present perfect. And that is what we are going to study tonight. Quickly here. Okay, it says use the present perfect. Use present perfect to talk about unfinished actions or states or habits that started in the past and continue in the present. Use the verbs in the participle form and the auxiliary for third person singular. What is the auxiliary we are going to use for he, she, and it? Me hicieron, la, contestaron las preguntas de la conversación. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar? Has, okay, muy bien. Has, ¿verdad? Entonces, dice que vamos a usar el verbo en past participle y el auxiliar has para he, she, o it. Y para el resto de pronombres, we use. ¿Cuál auxiliar? Have. Have, correct. Have. Have. We use have for the rest of the pronouns. Okay. Muy bien. Entonces, aquí tenemos la estructura de el present perfect. Vean. Subject. Más el auxiliary have or has, dependiendo, depending on the subject. The verb in past participle. Past participle. And a complement. All right. For example, I have checked the report. What is the auxiliary? In that sentence? Uh, uh, have. Have. <clears throat> and what is the, the verb? I. Check. Yeah, check. Hay que revisar la lista de verbos, a ver las pronunciaciones. Okay. Uh, the other one, she has explained her situation. What is the auxiliary? Has. Has. And the verb? Has. 
explain. Explain. Explained. Correct. This is the negative form. Solo se le agrega el not, ¿verdad? They have not replaced the battery. No, the team has not had that kind of problems. Lo único nuevo en la forma negativa es el not, después del have. ¿Verdad? Y esta es la forma que usamos nosotros eh, para decir yo he... Roberto, no voy a ir a pagar el carro, si eran a las 10. Yo he revisado los reportes, he revisado. Ella ha explicado. Ellos no han eh, reemplazado. El equipo no ha tenido. ¿Ven? El have aquí no significa tener, ¿verdad? Sino que significa, ¿qué cosa significa el have? Ah, de haber. Haber, ¿verdad? Haber. Muy bien. ¿Alguna pregunta? Bueno, solo, uh, por ejemplo, y para hacer las preguntas, simplemente como siempre hemos visto, esto se invierte. Para convertir la, la yes no question, ¿verdad? Esto se invierte. Por ejemplo, la pregunta para I have checked the report sería... Have I checked the reports? Y la respuesta sería una respuesta corta, recuerden, de las yes no questions. Oh, oh, oh. Voy a alargar esto. Yes, I have. O, no, I haven't. Y la otra, por ejemplo, she has explained her situation. Has. Uh, has she explained. Oh, ¿Qué pasa? Her situation. Yes. She has. Or no. She hasn't. Ok. Estas serían las yes, no questions. Have I checked the reports? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Has she explained her situation? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. ¿Verdad? Preguntas. ¿Hay preguntas? What page did you sorry? Uh, this is page 32. Let me... Okay, I'm going to send this to you. Is this to? And now there is an exercise here to to write some sentences. Usando acá los las palabras que nos dan, hay que escribir oraciones. 
and uh, present perfect, okay? Por ejemplo, Mario changed the fuse. Vamos a este primero juntos. Dice Mario. What is the auxiliary in this case? Uh, Ow. Has. 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 Okay, what is the past participle of change? Change. 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 Okay. The fuse. Okay. <coughs> yes. Yeah. Mario has changed the fuse. Again. Uh, the production not stop. Vamos a ver. The production. What is the auxiliary? Has. Okay, has. Not stopped. Not stopped. Muy bien. Um, le voy a eh, voy a compartir dos palabras que se usan muy comúnmente con este tiempo, con este present perfect. Son already. Aquí lo voy a escribir. Y jet. Son muy comunes. Already. ¿Saben qué quiere decir already? ¿Alguien sabe? ¿Estás listo? No. ¿Ya? Ya. Yeah. Exacto. El ya. Ok. Eh, comúnmente already. Lo usamos con las oraciones afirmativas. Como para enfatizar. Y puede ir al final, por ejemplo, Mario has changed the fuse already. ¿Verdad? Podría ir acá. O puede ir en medio después de la opción. También. Acá. Entonces podríamos decir, Mario has already changed the fuse. O Mario has changed the fuse already. Estamos diciendo, enfatizando que ya fue hecho. Mario ya ha cambiado el fusible. ¿Ya? Already. Es muy común ver estas palabras con este present perfect. Como repito, puede ir, puede ir aquí en medio. O aquí al final. ¿Verdad? Y eh, con las negativas. No. The production has not stopped. Us, ut, comúnmente utilizamos el jet. ¿Vale? También para darle un poco de énfasis. ¿Qué significa el jet? ¿Alguien sabe? Aún. Aún. Muy bien. Muy bien. Entonces estamos diciendo The production has not stopped yet. La producción no ha parado todavía. Ok. O puede ir acá. También después del auxiliar. The production hasn't yet stopped. Okay. 
¿Verdad? Muy bien. El jet. ¿Alguna pregunta? Bueno. Eh, completen las otras cuatro que quedan, por favor. Las oraciones, no necesariamente, si quieren, pueden usar el ready, el jet, sino no necesariamente. Ok. Voy a compartir esto también con esos apuntes.
Okay, did you finish? Sure. Yes. This topic is present perfect. Yes, this is present perfect. Okay, uh, but the principal verb is in past or just one rules? The verb always is in past participle. Siempre, siempre. Is that your question? I am confused. If the topic is present perfect, <laughs> what is the reason why the principal varies in past? Okay. <laughs> I am confused, I'm sorry. <laughs> because um, the present perfect uh, habla de una acción que si bien es cierto comienza en el pasado todavía está relacionada con nuestro presente ¿No, ¿verdad? en buen salvadoreño se acaba de hacer o acaba de suceder no, no siempre, no necesariamente que acaba de ¿verdad? pero está relacionada con nuestro presente Okay. Eh, y eh, uh, el, el present está en el, en el auxiliar usamos el have y el has en presente yeah. porque hay un pasado perfecto donde ese auxiliar va en pasado uh -huh. Okay, let's check your work. So let me share the, the book here. Okay, teníamos number three. A ver, alguien que me diga el nom the number three. Our team fix the equipment. Our team has fixed the equipment. Our sorry, uh, our team has yes. our team has fixed the equipment. Okay. Perfect. Number four. Jenny. Mm -hmm. Has not. Mm -hmm. Plow. Plow. Mm -hmm. The corn. The corn. Correct. Number five. The secretary has made now enough copies. Okay. Um, what is the problem with this one? The secretary has made enough copies. The verb. Ah, what happened with the verb? It's made. Make. No, it's made. Made. Yes, made. The participle. Yeah. No worry. Well, no worry. <laughs> because it's necessary to learn the verbs, okay? To study the verbs. Okay. I practice. I practice. Okay. And number five, number six. Ah, uh -huh. somebody please. Okay. 
command number six. The technician has checked the connector. Check the connector. Okay. Very good. Very good. Our team has fixed the equipment. Jenny has not plugged the cords. The secretary has made enough copies. The technician has checked the connector. Any question, people? No. Teacher. Oh. Hola. In, in, in Spanish, these birds are like a uh, han chequeado, como los verbos terminados en ado y ido. Yes. Okay. Todos esos son los past participles. Ado, ido. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Muy bien. Ahora, eh, espero no sea mucho, pero les voy a compartir otra con esta forma verbal. Y son for and since. For and since. What is for? Para. Eh, no acá. Veamos, veamos los ejemplos y vamos a ver. Veamos esto. Dice, we use the present perfect tense with since and for to say how long an action has lasted. Teacher, no se ve lo que está leyendo. No? Oh, se, ve, okay. se ve lo del libro. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Ya. Yeah. Vamos a ver, compartir... Ahora? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Let me see. For and since. We use the present perfect tense with since and for to say how long an action has lasted. How long? Cuánto tiempo o ha durado una acción? For example, I have played the piano since. 2010. ¿Verdad? Cuando usamos since, estamos hablando, we are talking about the beginning of an action. So I start, I started playing the piano in 2010. Since 2010. Yeah. So the action began, started in 2010. I have played the piano since 2010. I have lived in Lourdes since 2000. I have worked uh, in English Corporativo since, since when? 2014, maybe. Okay, since. E4 uh, expresses a period of time. So, I have played the piano for four years. Si nos vamos a la fecha de hoy, 2021, diríamos, I have played the piano for 11 years. Okay. So since and for. ¿Se comprende eh, eh, estas palabras? El uso que tiene. Hola. Yes, yes. teacher. Since. Yes, teacher. Desde entonces. Since. Exacto. Desde. Yo soy por. And for is por. Okay. Okay. So, cuando estamos hablando, ¿cuándo empezó la acción? Since 2010. Since the last year. Okay. Desde. 
before is a when you when we describe the period of time. O sea, puede ser la misma cosa, pero dicho de diferente manera, ¿no? I have lived in Lourdes since 2000. I have lived in Lourdes for 21 years. Es lo mismo, dicho de diferente manera. ¿Ok? Dicho eso, no, sí tenemos tiempo. Uh, ya, yeah, practiquemos con esto. Okay, the idea is to practice with uh, questions, okay? No, no questions, I'm sorry. Completing these sentences with since or for. So, eso es todo lo que van a completar acá. For or since, ¿verdad? Uh, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Dice la, la primera. Um, this one. I have been a vegetarian. Y nos da 1998. ¿Qué creen ustedes? For or since? Since. 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 Correct. I have been a vegetarian since 1998. He sido un vegetariano desde 1998. Un cambio acá. I've, uh, bueno, quizás solo recordarles, esta es la, I've es la contracción de I have. I have. I have, ¿verdad? Eso no lo mencionamos. Todos tienen su contracción. I've, you've, you have. Y eh, tal vez sí tener, poner atención a cuando, por ejemplo, voy a escribir acá. La contracción de he has va a ser his. Parecido o igual, mejor dicho, a he is. ¿Verdad? Pero el contexto nos va a mostrar de que no es he is, sino he has. ¿Ok? Pero esa es la contracción. La contracción de you have. Es you've. ¿Verdad? Y así todos los demás. I have, I've, you have, you've. He has, his. She has, she's. We have. We've. No, son las contracciones. They have, they've. Entonces, cuando vean eso, saben que es have. Ok. Bien, entonces les voy a compartir este cuadro para que... Eh, por ahí tienen el enlace del dadito en el, en el grupo siempre. Lo que pueden hacer es no, no ir tomando cada uno diferente posición. Si no vayan avanzando, vayan avanzando. ¿verdad? Vayan completando. Esto. Practique. Es speaking practice. Ok, no, no, tomen, no tomen nota. Traten de hacerlo una práctica oral. <risa> Parto la imagen. Y vamos de nuevo los grupos.
teacher. Hola. Mire, este, por ejemplo. Eh, sí, ahorita. Oh. Oh. Permítame. Ya iniciamos, pero. pero ah, ah. Oh. Y Jonathan desapareció. No sé si era en fin, pero no vimos bien el ejemplo. En el primero, I have been a vegetarian science. Es y por. Por. No. Since. Since. El, el segundo. Since, ¿verdad? También. El segundo, permítame. I have had the job since. No. Four. Four. Según el ejemplo. Ya puse ahí el ejemplo en WhatsApp. Si lo quieren ver. Sí, ya lo estoy viendo. Ah, ok. Veamos. Gracias. Thank you. Ok. Ok. I have for. Ah, ok. Four, four years. Uh, you, uh, if you, you phrase, they haven't spoken to us since we were at the school. So okay. I am old now, and I have a friend. When we was in school, I don't know about him. It's a long time. Okay, into, okay. Um, I think that is the correct answer. What do you think about it? Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think about it? ¿Qué pensas sobre eso? What do you uh, think about it? Um, like for me, um, I don't know. Uh, for me, uh, sign is the terminal time. No, the terminal present time or the present terminal time. I don't know. Um, y uh, the... yeah. he has eighteen any anything twenty four hour. Entonces sería he has eating anything for twenty four hours. Así. Ahí está el teacher que nos corrija. I have no her for a, a gas. Okay. Esto, gracias, gracias. Para mí este es por y para usted. Es por, por. El otro sería. Yesterday. He hasn't eating anything yesterday. Entonces yesterday. sería. He hasn't eating anything for yesterday. Teacher, es así. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿cuál? Teacher, auxilio. He, he hasn't. Eating anything yesterday. He hasn't uh, eaten for. anything. Anything for, for. yesterday. No. No. Ah, entonces no comprendí bien lo, el ejemplo. Es since. since. Sí. Yes, desde since. ayer. Mm. No, no decimos por ayer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since yesterday. Recuerde, cuando hablamos de cuándo, desde cuándo, since. Cuando decimos por cuánto tiempo, for. Ok. 
Okay. Okay. Yes. They have. Yeah, they, per... have a, they have our all been signed last week. Desde. Uh -huh. Hasta la. Uh -huh. I Desde have. Hasta. Bueno. <laughs> hasta. They have all been. Il. Okay. Signed. Last week. week. Go back six. Eso estoy. Eso estoy poco. Hasta pasando. antes. Ah. Está antes. No, estoy. Mm, I, have, I have no hair. We both studied in London. Mm, I have Teacher, no just on last day. Hair. Faltan ah, cinco. Faltan. Five. Dígalo en inglés, teacher. Faltan five. Faltan five. No. <laughs> five minutes left. Five. Ah, left, pues la cosa, ok. Falta fine, le dijo Laura que diga. Es que es Spanglish, teacher. Spanglish, es. <laughs> yes. I uh, have sí, no hair. Todos españoles. We both we studied in, in Londres. Oh, hasta. Fíjese es que andamos perdiendo. I have. Explicó. Mm -hmm. Él explicó el size y el form. Y el form. Pero ahí estaba acabado. Vale. Ok. Eh, Quedamos en. Toca a mí. A usted le toca. Okay. Me tocó todos. Uh -huh. oh, one, uh -huh. two, three. Uh -huh. Ok. Estaba en. Dos. Dos le tocó. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go back three. Oh, uh, we'll have Three. Can you say? Okay. Three. Okay. three, this uh, I have very parents with you for several years. For several years. Okay. Four. four. One, two, three, four. I know her seeing it. Okay, I know her. Her for age. For age, yes, for age. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. ¿Cuál es tu ¿Cuál queda? Esta. Sí. No alcanzó. She has worked. Yeah, okay. She was working her office uh, since a month. No, ah, four, four a month. Four. Four a month, okay. Three. One. Three. Ah, no, three. Sí, three. Sí. Three. One, two, three. Nobody has come to see. Temprano. Yo creo que mejor suena since en esto.
Okay, people, welcome back. And it's time to finish today. Uh, we're going to check this activity on Monday, okay? Um, let's finish with the last attendance and Anna Lilian Reyes. Yes, and teacher. Thank you for attending. See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro. Dinora is gone. Frida Janine Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you for attending. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Javier Aldair Escobar. Your teacher. Teacher. Goodbye. Enjoy your weekend. See you, teacher. See you on Monday. Jose Arnoldo Mazariego. Present teacher. Okay. Have a nice weekend. Good you night. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Jose Galileo Barrera. See you in a moment. Present. Jose Jonathan Vigil. He's gone. Present, present. Ah, okay. Good night. See you on night. Monday. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Present, teacher. Enjoy your weekend. Catherine Marcela Castaneda. Present, teacher. Good night, Catherine. Good night. Bye. Laura Carolina Vigil. Present, teacher. Thank you and good night. Good night. Maria Concepcion Ceron. Present teacher. Okay, Mary, go to sleep. <laughs> Maria Ivania <laughs> Palma. Present teacher. Bye Salve. bye. Good night, Ivania. Good Thank night. you. Eh, Mayra Veralice Moreno. Present teacher. Good night, Mayra. Enjoy your weekend. See you on Monday on time. Bye. <laughs> Zaira Marleni Larin. Present teacher. Okay, Zaira, thank you for attending. Enjoy your night, weekend teacher. at work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Thank you for attending. See you on Monday. See you Monday. Blessings. Blessings, Wendy. Okay, Galileo, what can we do to practice more? Do you have any question? Is there any? Yeah, any... I think, I'm sorry, tell me. No, no, go ahead, tell me. I think, I think we need a reinforcement mm -hmm. about, about past tense. Past tense. Okay. I, I saw uh, a lot of deficient in us, in me, about past, simple past. Do you remember the last conversation about it? Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, let's see. I had something that we haven't had time to practice. But let's see. Let me go back here. Oh. Okay. Uh, this one. Okay, I prepared this activity, but on. We haven't had time to practice it. Okay, this is to, to review and practice a little bit of simple past. Mm. Okay. Look at this. Uh, you have to you have to complete okay these sentences and some are questions, so there are affirmative sentences, so there are negative sentences. Mm. Let me get the pointer. Okay, for example, the first one. How would you complete this uh, question? Okay, it's easy to see it's past 
because say yesterday uh -huh. uh, to complete this sentence or question is what did you do yesterday at the office okay perfect what about this how many meetings that's more how many meetings uh, did you have last month? Good. This one. What did your college do yesterday at the office? Okay. I, I am using the auxiliar. It's yes. correct. Yes. Correct. Yes. Yes. That's good. Uh, talk about a project. Uh, it's a, Talk about a project you did. You don't present. The verb is work. It's work. Ah, okay, yeah, I got it. Talk about a project you worked on recently. Okay. Yeah, that, that is not uh, necessary, the auxiliar did. Mm -hmm. You're right. This is just a question in negative form. Exactly. Okay. Talk about the project you worked on recently. For recently. You you worked. You worked Work. on. Talk about a project you worked on recently. Recently. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, this one says write down. So you're not going to write, so it's just picking. Oh, tell me five things you did at work last week. Last uh, week could be this week because today is Friday. Tell me five things you did at work this week. Okay. Uh, I did uh, some reports. I did. Uh, um, okay, if you if you instead of using did use the verb write about reports. I don't understand. So, don't use uh, because you said I did some reports. Mm -hmm. Okay, but um, I want you to use the verb write. Ah, okay, I got it. I I wrote some reports. Okay. What uh, else? I, I got it. I I planned planned the planning. The planned. Planning. planned. I mm -hmm. planned some uh, I planned the tracks roads. Mm -hmm. The track roads, route, verdad? Roads. Mm -hmm. Roads, yeah. I planned the track roads. I planned the production uh, too. The request production too. Mm -hmm. uh, I I talk. I talk with with my boss about a uh, meeting. Talk, talk, talked, 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 talked. I talk with my boss about a meeting, mm -hmm. a result of meeting. I, I check it, I check it, the, the cleaners of trucks. Okay, okay, good. Um, just uh, review the, the verb list, okay? To check the pronunciation, particularly the regular verbs that have three different pronunciations. Remember the past form, maybe id or t or d. Okay. okay, and in that list, there are some, some regular verbs classified by that 
uh, sound. Yeah, I I think I uh, I confuse uh, with the auxiliary teeth, uh, but I know that the auxiliary is to negative and uh, negative sentences and questions. Yeah. The question. The rest of the rest of the any conversation or whatever is in in simple past. I mm -hmm. mean, the principal verb is in past. Exactly. Okay, I am. I am understand now. Now let's let's do a couple more. What about this question? Uh, how often, how often did you travel or travel? How often did you travel on business trips last year? Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you respond that? How often did you travel on business trips last year? Uh, the last year, uh, uh, I don't have any trips. Past. Uh, at you're least. Talk, you're at talking least. about the past, okay. not present. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't uh -huh. have any trips. I didn't. What is the verb? I didn't uh, <laughs> I didn't travel. I didn't travel, okay. I didn't, I didn't travel to any I, I I I didn't take any trips. Okay. Good. Because we we had in pandemic. Yes, that's right. Uh, now this this question. Okay. When did you join the company you are currently working for? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you respond that? When you when did you I work in my company since. Uh, may I use things in this answer? Yes. I work in my company since uh, 2009. Oh, okay. Yeah, 13 years ago. Uh, more or less. Yeah. Yeah. How? Um. Uh, how long has Pizza Hut been here? Uh, two thousand and eight. Oh. Uh, uh, Fourteen. Pizza Hut. I said Papa John's. <laughs> oh, Papa John's. <laughs> I'm sorry. Papa John's. Uh. Uh, 2008. Ah. I think are 15 or 14 years, I think. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we are growing. Yeah, I see that. Okay. Yeah. When when we when I started start in Papa Jones, we had only for uh, sales, uh, no, uh, branch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three food court and one restaurant, La Gran Vía. Oh. Uh, now we have 29 restaurants. 29? 29. Wow, and, a lot. We have food court, we have a restaurant soon. 
Very good. Very good. Yeah, we are grow, grow. growing. 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 Excellent. Okay, okay. Um, Galileo, it's time okay. to stop here, okay? Thank you for um, clarifying my dog. My pleasure, okay? Anytime. Pleasure. Have a good night, Galileo. Good night, Mr. Mr. Saul. Enjoy your weekend, okay? Bye-bye. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye.